Hey guys, so welcome to another vlog. I thought I would vlog this weekend because Luke and I are doing a lot of work on the house. We are currently in the process of painting all of the walls, prepping them, priming them, and then we're gonna paint. So it's Friday evening now, which is probably a funny time to be starting this vlog, but I'm waiting for Luke to finish up work so that we can go to the house together. I've been to Bunnings already to go and pick up some supplies. I've got some more paint drop sheets and also just some goggles and some masks, that kind of thing, because we do have to strip the paint in our bedroom and also in one of the spare bedrooms because it is textured paint. Um, so that's gonna be a little bit more work than we'd kind of anticipated, but that's all right. Uh, I've been cleaning the house as well because tomorrow morning they are doing a kind of a flat inspection or viewing for potential new tenants at our rental property so I need to make sure that the place is nice and tidy. So right now I am just going to do a little bit more packing while I wait for Luke to get home. I've packed up quite a bit of the study. A lot of the things that were in the cupboards are already all packed up but Luke still said that it looks like there's more stuff in that room than he has in the entire house. He's joking but there is a lot of stuff in that room um, and yeah I'll bring you guys along. Oh we got the floors done and they look amazing. I can't wait to show you. I'm so glad that we did it. Uh, we used, I think, Mr. Floors. I will drop the details down below in case you're thinking about getting your hardwood floors redone and you live in Sydney. But I was recommended him from by a friend and the guys did a really beautiful job. The floors look so good. I'm really glad that we actually decided to book that in, spend the money on it because it just looks exactly the way that we kind of wanted it to look. So Luke and I are very happy with that. But yeah, um, I'd better get on to packing some more boxes. So Luke's just called me. I've got to go and meet him now. I haven't even finished packing my first box. God, I must be so slow. I've done, how much is that? Almost all of it, but it's kind of our nicer uh, dinnerware and a whole bunch of our kind of wine glasses and that kind of thing. So I guess I better get changed now and head over to the house. I'm currently in the in our master bedroom, but I've been chipping all of the paint off the ceiling Some of it was peeling off so we're gonna have to repaint up here. So Yeah, it's a pretty big job Okay, so gave up on trying to scrape it all back instead we've been using um, this uh, paint stripper to remove the paint. It's doing a really good job actually. It's about 10 past 11 now. Sorry, my nose is a bit red. I've had a mask on. We have been stripping the ceiling of paint and we've kind of had enough for the night. Uh, tomorrow morning we're going to go to Bunnings and get a sander so that we can uh, sand it down a little bit easier than just using a block with sandpaper on it uh, and then we'll prime the ceiling so I'm kind of looking forward to that but we still have to strip all of the paint off of the walls in this room as well so it's going to be a big job but we're kind of tag teaming three rooms so that we can get as much of the place painted before we move in next weekend so I'm going to finish tonight up here and I'll see you guys tomorrow look how cute these two are and they were snuggling before as well Morning guys, it is Saturday. Um, excuse me not wearing makeup, but we are just gonna be at the house, so I figured there's probably no point. I'm just gonna end up wiping mascara all over my face. Uh, right now, we've just been finishing tidying up the house. I am about to put the cats into their basket so that we can take them to our new place with us while we do some work there. And yeah, that's kind of going to be our day, so I will see you guys at the new house. So it's about 1.30 now. We've been at the house putting the first coat on the ceiling and it's looking so good. We've also been doing all of the edges as well. Um, don't know 
how well you're going to be able to see that. But now, I don't know, we're going to probably put a tarpaulin down in the study and or sunroom. Um, and then maybe we might go and get some lunch because I know I'm definitely feeling a little bit hungry. Uh, I probably should show you guys what the floors look like as well because I don't think I did yesterday. They look amazing. I'm so happy with them. Um, maybe I'll show you here in the hallway. Hold on. So, I mean, mind all of the little painting sheets, but you can see it's a really nice kind of light honey color. It looks really good. We had them sanded back and then uh, coated with a water-based polyurethane. So, very pleased with those now. Um, so, I'm just back at the house now after having some lunch, and I don't know if you can see that there, that's Charlotte. Her and Winston are currently hiding in the cupboard. <laughs> I don't think they're too happy about being pulled out of their normal home, but this will become home for them very soon. Uh, I am just about to go and sugar soap the ceiling so that in the sunroom so that we can start painting that. We're kind of doing, we're doing the entire house actually. It's a huge job. I've never done anything like this before and I never really understood just quite how much work it was. So newfound appreciation for anybody who does this sort of thing on a regular basis. I kind of feel like I'm going to have this huge amount of pride in the fact that Luke and I did all of this ourselves. So. Yes, very, very cool. Um, I'll show you guys the poor cats. So Charlotte's just hiding out in here. I don't know if you can see, but she's got a new collar on from Tommy and Bella. It's this really gorgeous red. The light's not really gonna show up properly, but it's beautiful. And then Winston squash down here. Sunday. Sorry, I didn't vlog anymore yesterday. Honestly, we just ended up going really hard with the walls. We painted the ceilings again. And when I get to the house, I will show you guys a bit of an update. Thank you. Luke's just made me a coffee. Very sweet. Um, right now, we're just about to have breakfast. I think we're going to have bacon and eggs. And then I'm also going to film my winter corporate workwear lookbook. So it's just going to be five outfits this time. But kind of making the most of this morning, um, trying to jam a lot in as usual. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of me today. I've already been to the supermarket. <laughs> so I'm going to set up the um, backdrop and everything for this video, get that out of the way. And then yeah, we'll be over to the new house. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so just in the house now and in the bedroom, I don't know if you can see, but I've managed to strip a lot of the paint from the wall Luke as well and we did a bit more of the ceiling so today we're going to sand that down finish getting all the paint off the wall and then uh, prime it so that'll be exciting huge mess then our living room the ceilings are pretty much done I think we might do one more coat but I'm going to start sugar soaping the walls in here final rooms to study and we've done our first coat in here on the ceiling so one more coat to go then we'll start to prime the walls to paint those so we've just put the first coat on and the room looks so much better i can't wait to finally kind of reveal it with the wooden floors i think it's gonna look really good so I'm back home just to have a little bit of a lunch break. Luke's decided to stay at the house so that he can continue doing a bit of work. He's going to sand the ceiling in the bedroom, uh, but I'm going to make myself some avocado toast. I'm hanging out for some. I'm going to take some food back for Luke. We just took snacks, so nothing really kind of major. Um, oh, the cats are so cute. I have to show you. I got sent these really lovely leather collars for both Winston and Charlotte from a brand called Tommy and Bella and they're gorgeous. I will have shown you on my Instagram but uh, let me just show you what Winston's one looks like. Now he's pretty fluffy so you're not going to be able to see it all the time but 
it's this really beautiful teal and then it has this darling charm which has his name on it on the other side it's got my number and then a leather embossed tag with WB for Winston Burns <laughs> cutie I just think that's really sweet I've taken Charlotte's off just to show you a little bit clearer and she's just hanging out down here hers is burgundy so you've got the gold embossed metal and then the hot stamped leather tag so I just thought that that was really really lovely so thank you so much to Tommy and Bella really gorgeous little collars for both of the pets <laughs> Morning guys, so it's actually Monday now. Sorry, I didn't film any more yesterday. We just went hard in the bedroom. I swear stripping paint is such a nightmare. It's definitely not something I ever really want to have to do. It's so much hard work and I'm absolutely exhausted. I've gone for really minimal makeup today because I know we're going to be back at the house doing more painting and probably stripping more of that paint from the bedroom wall. We really thought it would be a much easier job than it is, but there's sort of uh, a multiple layers of paint on the wall which means that in order to get an even coat of paint once we go to paint over it we're gonna have to strip it all back so it's very time consuming and it's a lot of hard work like so I'm quite tired and I have to say I'm really looking forward to when we actually are all moved in and then we can kind of just do things at our own pace <music> So we've had movers in this morning, removing all of our furniture, which was such a huge job. I think it took them about six hours. Um, I can't believe how much stuff we've actually amassed. It's sort of a big wake up call to do a bit of a declutter. Uh, and now we've just been over at the house kind of starting to sort things out. So um, I'm gonna take you guys with me to our new place and I'm gonna show you the progress that we've made on each of the rooms. <laughs> bedroom is looking the floors have come up really nicely and I'm loving the white walls I just need to pull that tape off the top of the windows so the master bedroom is a bit of a shambles as you can see we have stripped all the paint from the ceiling which we now need to sand back and we have stripped a lot of the paint from the walls we haven't actually done any more on this this week we're gonna be tackling this next I think in our smallest bedroom we have put primer on the walls. It was painted blue before, so just currently working on that and afterwards I'll paint the skirting boards. We also ripped out the cupboard, which was in here. So we are going to put in new cupboards, but for the moment, we're just gonna leave it like that. Our living room looks great, except for the fact that there is furniture everywhere. I do need to paint the skirting boards, so you can kind of see here. I haven't done that yet and I also need to paint around the window frames but it's looking really nice I love the kind of contrast of the wooden floors and then the white walls I just think it looks really good and then the study has kind of become a storage area I am gonna put my desk down the end there where the ironing board is but at the moment we're just storing all of our stuff so we've painted the walls white and then I've left the trim on both the windows and down the bottom. I need to paint those, but that'll be my next job in here. We're starting to make some progress in here. Bed is made. 
Now just got to bring in a uh, chest of drawers to put over on the side. Uh, it's a bit later now. We've just kind of been setting up our living space the way that we want to have it. But um, our couch has arrived. We've got to fold out couch just so that we've got an additional place for people to come and stay. I picked one out from Lounge Lovers. It's just kind of a plain charcoal with black arms. I think we have to make it up, but that's the box there. So yeah, time to get cracking on with that and get it in our living room. Pretty important this is saying that it's a great reason. Yeah, Kelly got the head on as we see there. Alright, so the couch is done now and it was actually pretty difficult to make. Uh, who knew fold out couches would be a mission? I'll show you guys what it looks like though. I really aesthetically I think it looks really good. This is the couch and as I said earlier, it is from Lounge Lovers. And next to it is Nigel on his dog bed and Winston's trying to find somewhere to go and hide. So yeah, I think it looks really good. It is going to sit in the study so it kind of looks out towards our backyard, but pretty happy with that. Uh, in terms of what it's like to sit on it, it's quite a firm couch. I haven't folded it out yet to see kind of what it looks like as a fold out bed, but it's queen size. So pretty decent if you're having people to come over and stay. I now am going to enjoy the rest of my wine and I think I'm gonna have a shower and then have an early night. I am exhausted. This week has been pretty full on and I seem to have put my back out. I've got some back problems and it's definitely playing up. It's feeling very, uh, very tender right now. So I will leave you guys here for today and I'll pick this up again tomorrow. I'm just about to head back to our rental property to clear out all the rest of our stuff but I thought I'd give you a quick update on what we've been doing this morning Ooh, it's really bright so we this is our spare room and we have just given it a coat of paint over the top of the primer and it's looking really good it was blue previously so we just got to do one more coat later on today and then I will do all sort of the trimming in this room and it'll be ready to move stuff in which is really exciting because our bedroom is going to be under construction probably for the next couple of weeks, I have been pulling a whole bunch of clothing out that I want to wear for the next two weeks, which I'll put on that clothing rack that you guys will have seen in a lot of my videos. But yeah, now uh, we're going to kind of get our way over to the house. We've got a lot of work to do just because our lease actually ends on Saturday next week. So we have to tidy up the whole property. We have to remove everything. And we've got a lot of stuff there. We also have a garage there, which is chocker full of stuff. So yeah, it's a, a big job, but we're almost there. <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of the last of the clothing that had to come from the house. I've also got my pile over here of stuff that needs to kind of be hung up and popped away in the drawers. So this is definitely a little bit of a hectic mess at the moment. So I think I'm going to be very busy later on today. So it's funny because before Luke was saying to me, I keep trying to get rid of stuff and be a lot more minimalist. However, the amount of things that we have in our house is just ridiculous. Yeah, so I have to show you in our cupboard to show you what I mean. Hey, this, this could be a meme, honestly. So these are the cupboards. Yeah. They are packed with stuff. <sighs> hashtag minimalism. I definitely think one of the things that I really want to do uh, once we're all moved in is start going through everything and actually maybe going through my wardrobe as well. Maybe I'll wait until our bedroom's ready to do that, but definitely think I need to downsize some of our stuff a little bit. <laughs> The 
speaking of having a lot of clothes, this entire box is filled to the brim with clothes hangers. So it's probably about six o'clock now, I think. After going to Ikea and we also went to the good guys and to uh, Decathlon, I think it is, sporting goods place, uh, we've come to the conclusion that we're both feeling really tired. So we're not going back to our rental to do all the tidy up. We've got the whole week, so we're just going to manage it bit by bit. Luke's got some chicken soup on at the moment for dinner, which I'm really looking forward to. I just think it's going to be really nice and nourishing and hearty. Uh, I have been sorting out the clothing rack. We've just got it outside our bedroom for now um, with probably like some of the things that we'll wear throughout the week. Uh, I'll show you what it's looking like at the moment. It's still a bit of a mess. So yeah, just got that stacked up for now. Uh, I think when we're at IKEA, I bought all of the frames. I am working with Desenio on a blog post, so uh, I have been getting some frames to put all the pictures in for that, and I've actually got them all here. Hold on a minute. I've got a few different ones, but I really like this kind of natural wooden looking ones. They didn't have that size in the smaller they didn't have one of the frames that I was looking for, but I got most of the stuff. I've also got kind of white, and then I've got a lighter wooden one and black. So I think those will look really good. I haven't rolled them out yet, but I actually did a second order of stuff that I saw on the website that I thought would look really cool. I want to add a bit of color into our space, and I'm probably going to style the study. So I will vlog that when I'm kind of pulling it all together so you guys can see. Uh, but yeah, I am... Um, I'm just really exhausted. It's been a pretty big week and a half actually while we've been doing all of these renovations and things. So I do hope that you guys have found this kind of interesting or that you've had fun coming along with me for the journey. Moving house, buying house and doing renovations, doing it yourself is just such a huge job. So big ups to anyone else who has kind of gone through this whole process because it is tough work uh, especially when you're trying to manage it around your typical nine to five and I'm just finding it even more so trying to keep up with blogging and vlogging and putting videos up so yeah uh, I am definitely going to be in need of a vacation I think once we've finally got the place sorted so I think I probably will end this here just because it's been a pretty big day and like I said I'm just going to potter around the house so there's not going to be anything too interesting happening but thank you guys so much for watching and do give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I'm looking forward to showing you guys more of our space once it all kind of comes together. I think the bathroom renovation is going to be really fun. So that'll be a pretty big one because we've got to redo the whole thing. We're going to be picking up the tiles and everything. I just think it's going to be heaps of fun. So yeah, that is it for this video. I will see you guys next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.